Hi, I'm Ben Hanewalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today I'm here to talk to you about StepSync on the PowerFocus 6000. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, the PowerFocus 6000 has two different operating modes. The first mode is normal PF6000 mode, which would be you can have up to six tools um, using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You would have a, an individual virtual station for each of those tools and so on, and each of those are uh, programmed individually. And then there's also step sync mode, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the hardware requirements for a step sync system. So let's talk about some of the key differences with step sync. Step sync does not allow you to use Bluetooth or wireless tools additionally on the controller. It requires a license for step sync, and that is it. You do not need to license any of the additional sync members that would be included in a system, so keep that in mind. Second, the tool triggers cannot be used to trigger a step sync system. And what I mean by that is that this is a fixtured solution, meaning that we have to have some type of a remote start capability. So that remote start can come from an external start trigger, it can come from a PLC, but it cannot come from the tool trigger itself. So now let's take a look at the hardware and talk about some of the differences. So as you can see, this is our normal PowerFocus 6000 controllers. There's nothing different about these from a normal PF6000 system. All of the differences are handled in the software. Each of these has an IAM in them, and each of them has a normal tool cable coming out of them specific to the tool that they require. So if I go to the sync reference, which is going to be the first controller in my step sync system, and take a look inside, I'm going to point out a couple of things. The digital I.O. is where we're going to wire in any start handles, any external triggers, any PSET selection variables. So keep that in mind. That is actually going to operate very similar to a normal PF6000. Next over from there, we have the remote start switch. Because we can only use a remote start trigger on a step sync system, this needs to be turned on in all of the controllers in the setup. So keep that in mind. Next to the remote start, we also have our class three e-stop. Whenever we're fixturing multiple spindles together, we always recommend that there is some type of an emergency stop that is wired into the controller itself. But the factory jumpers, which this one has, will also work. Keep in mind, the sync reference actually has a different pinout for the emergency stop than the additional controllers that are going to be in the line. So please reference the user manual. It'll give you exactly what the pinout needs to be for each individual controller in the sequence. Next, you're going to look down here and you're going to see um, what's known as the sync communication cable. And that is going to plug into these COM ports that we have on each individual PowerFocus 6000. Um, and what those are going to do is those are actually going to daisy chain in between the two controllers. So for example, this one is going to go from COM port A into COM port B of the second controller. Um, and then if we had additional controllers, we would output from COM port A to COM port B of an additional controller. A couple other notable features on the step sync system, the sync reference is going to be your connection to Tools Talk 2 and Tools Net 8. So you do not need to have an Ethernet drop for each of these individual controllers. You're just simply going to plug into that sync reference. Next is our field bus card. We only need a field bus card in the first controller in the setup. So that's another uh, benefit to the step sync setup is we can run multiple tools with reduced Ethernet as well as reduced field bus requirements. So, one other notable thing regarding the hardware is that the results menu is only going to show on the sync reference itself. So keep that in mind when you're looking for the results on the controllers. Your members are not going to show individual results. The results can only be found on the sync reference. I hope that you have found this video to be helpful. And if you do have any additional questions regarding step sync hardware, please feel free to reach out to an Atlas Copco representative and we can make sure to get you some answers. And thanks for watching.